today's an update. Uh, it's another Saturday. It's gonna be an update. It is an update on this, but not for very long. The update is I have all the parts, I have all the money I should need to spend into it spent. I am just waiting on the shipping. As you can see that it's been it's been raining a lot around here, so those are the secondary heads. Um so the first thing you'll need to do if you have it equipped is remove your choke, which goes right here. It attaches onto the choke lever and it goes into this clamp. You need an eight millimeter socket to remove to loosen this you don't have to take it all the way out and once you do that you have the four screws on top i suggest first before you take it off douse it in gasoline because that wets the gasket and then allows it makes it better to come off without if you want to salvage your gasket it also makes it easier for cleanup and then you i do it in a sequence i break them free in a sequence then i take take them out because this is cast and you really don't want to break it so if it doesn't work first time or if it doesn't come off right away you can try tapping it because it shouldn't need a lot most of the time but you can also this is a gentle way to do it stick it into this corner well, usually it's gentler well, the gasket is in one piece. The float sits well. Looks just like the Murray. The only thing I different I saw between the Murray's carburetor and this one is that this hole. So, what I'm probably going to do next is remove this drain plug. Um, and clean this up so I can pump it. The fuel pump does work fine because it runs. There's just one of these jets that is clogged up, and I gotta find out which one. So, as you can see, I have the plug out. It it usually is been pretty tight. Um, I did let the fuel drain on to the muffler, and the engine was kind of hot. But, um, you know I'm okay because I'm, you know, I'm still recording. So I drained it, and then I took a rag, and I put it in, and then I stuffed it in with a screwdriver to soak up the rest. Look at all that shit. If you can. Here, let me pull the tractor into the light. Or into the sun. There. All that shit. It's loose, though. You can see. It's very loose. So that's probably clogged up this jet and more of these. Now what's going to come in handy is a good bottle of WD-40 with the straw. Because this way you can test every single... Um, so here's the jet after I've taken out. I haven't cleaned it at all. If you look... Huh. It's kind of clean. I'm going to get something to scrape that out. I usually use something like this. Let me put this in the vise so I can hold the camera at the same time. Okay, so. Shoo, that scared me. I thought oh, I'm scared of losing it. Oh, it's pretty cleaned out. This is a WD-40. Alright, I'm going to clean this out. So, now that I've cleaned that part out, i got to get this jet out, which I need a smaller... Excuse me for um, all the noise. All the neighbors are cutting their grass on Sundays. So... There is a tool that you can use for these jets, but sometimes I just find if you're careful enough, you're fine with these. Now this dub, sorry, might just, well the bottom hole is clogged. I can get the right angle for you guys. I 
which I can't up there kind of you can kind of see it in this hole right by my thumb the other hole is clogged now let's go straight down we cannot look straight down so this is definitely completely clogged so here's the second quick tip quick tip of the video if you have these very small jets with these tiny holes you can barely see let alone clean them what you do is get, you get some of this like this is from the tractor I'm working on this is some old wire and it has the multiples of gauges what you do is you grab a few and you twist them together and it turns out that will be your cleaner and if it's too big you just take a few away until you get the right size now for this hole I'm gonna have to use one because it's that freaking small so that's clean This one isn't clean yet. Hmm. Hmm, hold on. One moment, please. Okay, there we go. And then, most of the time, the this top hole should be big enough for most of all to all the wires but for some reason it stops when it should be coming out the back so I'm going to use two wires here and stick it into the back here ooh that's real tough it's really tough I don't know if up there it goes So if you just twist that in, eventually one of them should pop through. <laughs> that didn't work. Hold on, please. <laughs> Sorry for this. Gotta grab another wire. It's a good idea to have multiple wires with this stuff. You never know what's gonna come in handy. That's the one I just put down. Oh well, I have to use this one. Alright, I'm almost done. Probably getting bored of this. So, I'm just gonna stick it back through the back hole. At the back part of the jack jet. And that goes through, so if we do this should come back out the other way, which it did not. Alright, I think I've cleaned it enough. I think that'll work. So I imagine you're probably getting pretty bored with this. Well, just in time because there are only three more steps. Check this. The main jet. The, the Venturi. That's good. Then, uh, we get the air cleaner and we blast all that crap out of there if you are or do use air hose a good tip is to put a little bit of gas in there to wet it but look away when you blow okay so or else you're gonna get your face splattered with no matter how long your arm is you're gonna get your face splattered with gas and I even went to the extra step to gent to pull it back and gent and blow some of this out when I blew it in here, it just made a big smoke of gasoline. So, now the process of putting it back together. This jet is the most difficult to put back in. What I have done is I have taken a pair of pliers, and I have held it there while I push it in with the flat tip screwdriver. 